Hi there, Johnny here from johnnylipstromstudios.co.uk and welcome back to the Persona Symphony Orchestra series. And in today's video, we are going to look at the string section. So we'll be looking at the individual violin, viola and cello and double bass instruments, plus each one of those as a section and some of the key switches that you get. Plus we will take a look at the contemporary strings uh, uh, section as well, which is a little bit different. It's a bit um, of an extra to the orchestra. So you get some advanced articulations within uh, the contemporary strings uh, so that you could uh, make use of them for dance tracks, that kind of stuff. For example, in the intro music, um, the some of the key switches used there are key switches that are from the contemporary strings. Okay, so let's get into this. So we're going to look at, uh, first of all, we're going to look at the violin itself, and then we'll look at the section, and we'll work through the sections that way, and hopefully we'll keep this video relatively short. All right, so let's go to the PSO Classic Strings. This is the one you want to open. And you get the individual instruments, so you get the violin, the viola, the cello, and you get double bass as a section, plus you also get the harp. Now, we looked at the harp a little bit last video, so I'm not going to cover the harp this time. So let's go to the individual instrument of the violin, and we'll look at how this sounds. Uh, it defaults to sustain on the key switch, and let's have a look at how it sounds a little bit. Now the cool thing here is if I play the string, if I play the notes very softly, you get a dynamic change, but you also hear a different way in which the uh, the violin is being played. It's being played with the side of the bow, so that you're getting the the uh, just basically a single strand of the of the bow uh, being drawn across the string which gives it a thinner sound but when I uh, play with a lot more attack you also get a lot more vibrato as well whoops but if I back off a little bit Not quite so much vibrato. That is particularly cool. There are lots of key switches. So we get a legato one, which is, which is really good for running notes into each other. And again, you've got the modulation wheel, which you can use for dynamics. So piano, forte. So that's quite nice, um, and you've got you've got tremolo as well. Tremolo is quite good. That's really really useful. And then you've got a trill using a half to a half tone. That's quite cool. And then you've got the whole tone one. Uh, what else we got? We got a slow sustain. So the, the attack and the release of each note with this one is nice and slow and long and drawn out. 
Uh, then, of course, we've got Pizzicato. So that's that's quite useful uh, as well. And then we've got grace notes going up in major intervals. And then, of course, you're going to have the the minor intervals as well. Which is really, really handy because then you're not going to have to program any of these. Uh, and then, of course, you've got downward grace notes. Which is very useful for things like Irish music, uh, Scottish Gaelic music, and folk music, where you have uh, grace notes predominantly going downwards in that in that in that way. Uh, what else do we have? No, we have got some chords as well. Hang on a minute, you have to find the right. And they're all, these are all diminished chords. Very, very useful. Um, so you've got an abundance of key switches that you can use. And you've got arpeggios. These are, again, very useful. Uh, find the right playing zone. You can play two arpeggios at the same time. So that, again, all of these key switches, you get uh, the individual ones. These key switches will appear in all the other single instruments, so the viola and the cello. You'll get uh, pretty much the same set. So the section sounds really nice as well. Let's have a look at the violin section. And then we'll get onto the viola in just a second. So again, nice and nice and lush sounding strings. And again, you can have the reverb on if you want. And so on and so forth. So these just sound really, really nice. And again, you've got like a whole bunch you got slow glissando this is very nice uh, let's see let's find the right playing area very 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 useful articulations that you've got and again some chords they are pretty much thought of just about everything uh, when uh, putting this all together. So that's the violin section. So let's go to viola, the individual instrument, which again is very nice. Not quite the same amount of key switches. very very nice and again you got legato you got staccato which is nice and again the harder you play the keys you can 
probably pick up the sound of me smacking the keys on the mic. <laughs> uh, so what else we got? We got... What's this one? Oh, we got two staccatos. Quite nice. What we got here? Oh, trill, whole tone. Yeah, you could get a little bit over the top with that. Pizzicato again. That could be entertaining. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so again, yeah, a whole range of key switches and uh, glissandos, uh, arpeggios, like a major chord here like this. And so on. So they've just about thought about everything. Um, so that's the viola. And again, you've got um, a viola section. And again, it defaults to a, a sustain. Sounds nice and rich. And again, you've got things like grace notes. All very, very useful key switches, arpeggios. Ah, I find that. Oh, crikey, that was loud, sorry. So lots and lots of fun that you can have with all of those key switches. Uh, let's go on to cellos. I love the sound of a cello uh, because they just, they sound so beautiful. Very nice. A uh, slightly smaller selection here of key switches. You still got your glissando. All very, very entertaining and staccato. course you're going to have pizzicato. Uh, oh, you've got a good tremolo here as well. Very nice. So that's the cello, but there is no single double bass. You have to have uh, just the double bass section. Uh, which takes a little while to load because it's a much bigger instrument. Very nice, rich sounding. Uh, what do we have here? A staccato. Do I have a pizzicato? Don't think we do. Not with this one, I don't think. That's a bit of a shame. Tremolo, tremolo crescendo, trill. No. Oh, there we go. There it is. Very nice. Again, it's all section. Um, oh, I forgot to do the cello section, didn't I? So let's have a look at the cello section very quickly. Takes a few seconds to load up. There we go. Yeah, 
had a little pop then. Not quite sure why that happened. nice again good selection of key switches all can be really useful stuff there all right so that's the classic string section as i said we're not going to look at the harp because we looked at that briefly last time so let's go on to the contemporary strings now this is where it gets a little bit cooler because you get a big string section, which is basically all of the sections put together. Um, but you get also violin section here with pizzicato special effects, staccato, sustain, and tremolo. I'm going to do, actually, let's do the special one first, and then we'll do the big string section to finish. Let's just let this load up. So this has got some very cool key switches. I have to find the right player. So nice, it, it kind of uh, goes up in an octave. And then you've got the trill half tone. Very nice. Uh, whole tone and then sustain. And then you've got different lengths of sustain. And then you've got some falls. So you can do things like this. So those are really, really useful. Um, for, again, for those kind of dancey tracks. For those kind of dance tracks that you might want to do, or any special effects for, say, a film, uh, would be those would be very cool. And pretty much each section has its own special section, as you can see. And then you get the big section. This the big section, all of its own. The big string section has its own special section, which again has a small selection of articulations. So you have sustain, you got trills. I think this starts with a trill actually. So you, you can do things like uh, and all sorts of other weird and wonderful chords for whatever reason you might have. So that's kind of more median length sustain that you might have there than this is long. So that's quite handy. So that's the special section for the big strings. Let's close that. And then you've got these uh, individual ones here, which are, um, they call it big string section KS. KS standing for key, uh, key switch. So again, this one's quite a big um, library when it loads. So it takes a few seconds to load. Look at that, 1,023 megabytes. So it's a whole gig's worth of um, and it's still kind of loading. There we go. So we start with sustains on the key switches. We've got trills, then we've got pizzicato, uh, staccato. So you've got a, a few here that are very, very useful. Uh, but this just sounds beautiful.
So that one is just a beautiful instrument all of its own. So there we have it, the string section uh, from the classic string section and a little bit from the contemporary strings. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Next time we will look at brass and then it will be woodwind and then it will be percussion after that. And then we'll look at the music loops. That will be the final uh, video in the series. We'll be looking at the music loops. All right, so until next time, bye for now.